The movie begins with a young girl named Sadie driving around the outskirts of Washington, D.C. She receives a call from someone named Dr. Yates, discussing someone's sudden demise. Despite not knowing the deceased well, Sadie feels down, as their lives were eerily similar, same age, job, and even similar houses. Dr. Yates encourages her to be strong and promises to check in on her. Meanwhile, in a market, a man named Cole Turner is tending to his small stall. Recently dumped by his girlfriend, he confides in a woman named Edna, who gossips about it to others. Edna, who sells plants, asks Cole to watch her stall while she steps out. The same girl from earlier enters Edna's stall and browses around. Cole notices and approaches her, asking what she wants. She selects a plant but explains that she's rarely home, so she needs something low maintenance. He hesitates to sell it, fearing she might neglect it, which annoys her. An argument ensues, and Edna intervenes, telling Sadie to pay $10 for the plant. After paying, Sadie leaves. Edna suggests to Cole that he should ask Sadie out, and despite initial reluctance, he eventually approaches her, inviting her for coffee. At first, Sadie finds the invitation weird due to their recent argument, but she changes her mind and agrees. They spend the day together, visiting different places. Sadie reveals she's an art curator, and Cole shares that he's writing a book about farming plants. They discuss horror movies, with Sadie claiming she's not scared of anything since she's chosen not to be afraid. She recounts a terrifying experience of fleeing the country with her brave mother on a raft, which inspired her to be fearless. They spend the entire day and night together, even singing at a bar. Sadie invites Cole to her home, and they become intimate. He later tells his family about her, and while his parents are excited, his sister Maddie is skeptical of his tendency to get carried away. Despite Maddie's doubts, Cole's parents are supportive. He texts Sadie over the next few days, but she doesn't respond. His dad theorizes reasons for her silence, but Maddie suggests she's ghosted him. Cole remembers leaving his inhaler in her purse, which has a tracker he uses for his belongings. He checks the location and finds out she's in London. His parents encourage him to surprise her there, but Maddie disagrees. Cole travels to London but ends up in a dark alley and gets kidnapped. He wakes up in what seems like a lab with dangerous insects used for torture. The investigator refers to Cole as the tax man, but Cole insists he's just a farmer. Just as he's about to be tortured, Sadie arrives with a rifle, killing the captors. Cole is shocked to discover that Sadie, who claimed to be an art curator, is actually a CIA agent. They engage in a shootout, and Sadie gives Cole a gun. They escape and eventually confront local security forces. They commandeer a bus and are pursued by the security forces. A chase ensues, during which Cole uses his wrestling skills to fend off soldiers who board the bus. The chase ends, and Sadie explains they'll have to continue on foot. In a cave, a man named Levesque, the real mastermind, wants a passcode from the tax man. Sadie and Cole are mistaken for this person. Levesque offers a reward for bringing him the tax man. Sadie and Cole arrive at a place called Mingola, where Sadie meets Marco, a powerful figure. They discuss a biochemical weapon called the Aztec that can devastate the eastern seaboard. Sadie reveals she was at the cave to retrieve Aztec, with Cole being her second priority. She asks Marco to arrange a safe flight for Cole back to America. It's revealed that Marco and Sadie used to date. Sadie warns Cole not to contact her again before leaving, but Marco is suddenly shot dead by a black man. Claiming to be Sam's grandson, he then kidnaps Sadie and Cole. The leopard attacks them, sent by Levesque. Once in the car, a man named the lion kills the leopard. The lion instructs them to continue driving after disposing of the leopard's body. However, he too is killed, and Sadie and Cole manage to escape. While in the car, Sadie reveals that the Aztecs cannot be activated as they lack the passcode. She discloses that she killed her co-worker Edna, who had encrypted the passcode and was actually a traitor working with the enemy. She punches Cole and knocks him out. The scene transitions to Sadie acting as a bounty hunter, presenting Cole to her associates as the tax man with the passcode. Sadie tells them that she possesses the passcode and is the tax man. The group plans to torture Cole for the information. Levesque hands over the responsibility to his right-hand man, Wagner. They find a picture of Sadie and Cole together in bed and realize their relationship. Sadie claims to have the passcode to Aztec on the plane. During the confrontation, Sadie fights back, taking down Wagner. Cole also employs his wrestling skills to defeat another attacker. She commands Cole to parachute off the plane with the Aztec but he refuses to leave her behind. Instead, they both jump off the plane together. 
Six hours later, they find themselves on Socotra Island in the Arabian Sea. Cole tends to Sadie's wounds using his knowledge of plants. The following morning, they have a conversation and another intimate encounter. However, they are suddenly attacked by Wagner and his men. Sadie manages to send her location to the CIA, and her team arrives promptly, eliminating some of Wagner's men. Despite this, Wagner escapes with the Aztecs, leaving the CIA disappointed. The scene shifts to Sadie and Cole at CIA headquarters, being interviewed by a man named Monty Jackson. An argument ensues between them as Sadie expresses regret over saving Cole, leading to the loss of the Aztecs. Cole is offended by her statement. They are subjected to lie detector tests, which consistently indicate sexual tension between them. Jackson jokingly suggests they get a room. Sadie then meets her boss, Dr. Yates, who expresses disappointment and warns her of potential job loss. Meanwhile, Jackson speaks negatively about Sadie to Cole, who defends her. Jackson accuses her of being a killer and a liar. When he shows them her photo, Cole notices a specific plan in the background, the same one Edna used to decipher the Aztec password. Cole suggests they retrieve this plant from Edna's apartment immediately. The CIA team decides to use Cole for a mission. They inform him that he needs to take down Levesque, or he will continue to be pursued because Levesque believes Cole is the tax man. Levesque's actions could also endanger Cole's family. Cole decides to help the CIA, despite Sadie's skepticism about their intentions. She accuses them of trying to exploit him, and Cole retorts that they say similar things about her. While Sadie leaves the CIA headquarters, Cole joins their team. Mr. Utami, the man who hired Levesque to obtain Aztec, visits him and demands the weapon immediately. Levesque assures him that he'll have it soon. They decide to meet the tax man, and Utami reveals that he'll accompany Levesque. Utami states that if they obtain the passcode, their deal stands, otherwise, he will kill Levesque. Taxman Cole intends to retrieve the Aztecs from them. Cole waits at a table in a mall for their arrival, but his team is ambushed and killed. Jackson instructs Cole to escape, but he decides to remain, convinced that Sadie will come to save him. As Levesque and Utami arrive, Cole pretends to be a traitor, wanting to leave the building wealthy. Levesque is skeptical and does not believe him. The meeting was arranged as a ploy by Cole to trick Levesque, but Levesque remains unconvinced. Cole waits for Sadie, who eventually arrives. He informs Utami that she is actually the tax man and has the passcode. Utami sends her the money, and she opens the case containing the Aztecs. Levesque attempts to kill her, but bounty hunters hired by Sadie surround him. A shootout ensues, and Sadie manages to grab Aztec just before she and Cole take cover under a table. They fight together for a while but get separated. Cole engages in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Wagner. Levesque shoots Utami, and Wagner and Cole enter a control room with large machines that are activated during their struggle. The building begins to spin, adding to the chaos. Meanwhile, Sadie and Levesque engage in a shootout, and he kills Wagner. Levesque heads into the hallway, where Sadie confronts him. She shoots the ceiling, causing debris to fall on him, ultimately crushing him. Sadie secures Aztec, and both she and Cole are safe. They share a kiss, and Cole compliments her appearance in the black dress. The scene transitions to Sadie and Cole enjoying a meal with his family. His parents are delighted to have her as a guest, and even Maddie is impressed by her. They share stories of their challenging journey, recounting all they've been through. Jumping ahead three months, Cole and Sadie are now in a romantic relationship and have achieved success in their respective careers. Cole opens the trunk of a car, revealing a man with his mouth taped shut. Sadie explains that he's an arms dealer. Despite this, they continue on their date. And with that, the movie concludes. Thank you for watching.